Hi, this is Nir from Polypop Live, and in this video we're gonna talk about how to create a video alert. And when I say video alert, I mean an alert that will make a video appear in your live stream. Maybe add some sound to it, make it play, and then make the video disappear. Something similar to this, where you see Almo dancing, singing, and then disappears. So let's start. First, let's open our library by clicking the Open Library button here on the lower left side of the screen. Now let's pin it down so it will not block our canvas by clicking this little pin icon. As you can see here, I'm already logged into my Twitch and YouTube account. If you don't know how to connect your YouTube or Twitch account, I'm gonna add some links in the description that will show you how to do that. Now the first thing we'll need to do in order to create a video alert is have a video ready for our alert. You can create your own video or download it from the web, but since this is a tutorial about how to create a video alert, a video is needed, so make sure you have one. For this demonstration, I downloaded this Almo GIF animation and imported it to Polypop Live. Please note that when I'm recording this video, Polypop Live does not support GIF animations. We're gonna add this feature really soon, but for now, if you have a GIF animation, you will need to convert it to a format Polypop Live supports, like WebM for example. I'm gonna add a link in the description for an online video converter from GIF animation to WebM. Once we have our video ready, we will need to import it to Polypop Live. To do that, we will click on the plus button here in the library, choose import video, locate our video on our PC and import it. And here is my Almo video. Now before we're gonna learn how to create this <laughs> video alert, let's first create a really simple one just to understand how it works. And then we're gonna learn how to make a fancier one like the one we just saw. In Polypop Live, you can create a video alert to any alert in YouTube or Twitch, but for this example, I'll choose my YouTube alerts in my library and create a new chat alert by clicking on the plus button here next to the chat alerts line, expanding the alert and typing a word. I'm going to type exclamation mark Almo, which means that whenever someone types exclamation mark Almo on my chat, the alert that we're going to create will appear. Now let's create an action sequence for this alert. An action sequence is a way to organize a series of actions to fire simultaneously or one after the other. To create an action sequence, we will pull a wire from the alert we just created and drag it all the way to the action sequence window that appears here in the center of the screen. Let me do it again. I'm gonna pull a wire and connect it to the action sequence socket that blinks here. And once I do that, I have an action sequence window. So let's create a series of actions that will show our video, play it, and then make it disappear. To add an action, we will click on the plus button here and choose Emit Alert. Now let's add the Elmo video to the scene by selecting it in the library and dropping it into our scene. Once we do that, a new 2D video layer appears in our scene layout. So our first action in our action sequence will be to make this video layer visible. We will do that by dragging a wire from the Emit Alert layer to the video layer properties. I'm going to connect it to the visible socket. Here I have three options, set to off, set to on, toggle on and off. In our case, we want to set it to on. To make things more organized, I'm going to double click on the layer and name it Almo Video Visible On. So I'll know what this action is. Now, before we make an action that makes this video disappear, we want to wait for a couple of seconds so the video will have time to play. I'm going to click on the plus button here in the action sequence and choose wait. The default wait is one second. I think three seconds will be enough. And I'm going to add another alert. And this alert will tell the video layer to disappear. So again, I'm going to connect it to the visible socket, but this time I'm going to choose off. And let's name the layer video visible off. Now let's test it. I'm going to choose my YouTube alerts again. And next to my alert, I have a test button. But before we test, let's change the video visible value to off because we want to see if the alert works. So I'm going to change it to off. Now the video is invisible. Let's click on test. The video appears, it waits for three seconds and then disappears. Perfect, it works. So I can reposition the video wherever I want. Let's say I want it here. And then I'm gonna test it again. It appears, waits, and disappears. Now let's add sound to it. To import audio, I will click on the plus button in the library, choose import video clip and select the file I want. I already did that. And so I have my video clip here in my library. 
under audio. I'm going to add it to my scene and we can see a new audio layer added to my scene layout. La 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 sound. Let's click on play to check it out. If by clicking on play you don't hear sound, make sure to enable the sound on your scene here. Now let's add the sound to the action sequence. I'm going to click on the plus button to add another alert. I'm going to move it up just after the audio visible on. And then after making sure my audio layer is selected, I'm going to drag a wire from this alert to the play property of the audio. Let's name it audio play. And now let's test the alert. I'm going to go to the YouTube alerts again, test. And there you go. Now you know how to create a video alert with sound in Polypop Live. Because before I promised you, we will learn how to make it more interesting. Let's do that. Because the Almo video we chose has one color background, we can key it out and make the video transparent. So let's do that. Let's hover over our Almo video layer in our library, click the plus button that appears and choose crop and filter. We are now in the crop and filter mode. Here we can crop our video or add filters to it. So let's add a chroma key filter. Let's click on the plus button under filters. Choose the chroma key filter, double click it. And now we added a chroma key filter, but because the default is green, nothing happens. So let's change it to this blue. I'm going to click on the color, choose the blue color, click OK. And right out of the bat, it looks OK. Let's also add a brightness contrast filter by clicking the plus button here. Double click on the brightness contrast filter and tweak it a little bit to make the colors more vibrant. Once we're happy, we can click on the go back button. We can see that Polypop added a child source under the original Almo video. And this one is the cropped and filter one. We can rename it, but I'm okay with the name for now. Let's add it to the scene by drag and dropping it into it. Reposition it. And let's go back to the action sequence that we created before. I'm going to select the YouTube alerts again, hover over my Almo chat alert socket. And here I can choose my action sequence to appear again. Now let's switch the cropped and filter video with the original one. We're gonna hover over the socket of the Almo video visible on alert, click on that, and I'm gonna disconnect these sockets. Now I'm gonna reconnect them to the new video. First, I'm gonna choose the video in my scene layout. I'm gonna pull a wire from the first alert to the visible on. The last alert is gonna be visible off. I'm going to make it invisible and let's test it. Works. Now let's make it more interesting. We're going to click on the plus button in the scene layout, choose the 3D option from the categories and the 3D particles. We just added a 3D particle emitter to our scene. Let's check it by clicking emit burst. So this is what the default emit burst looks like. Let's add this to the alert and then tweak it later. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add another alert. I'm going to drag it to the very top. I will name it particles emitter. And I will pull a wire from the alert to the emit burst property of the particles emitter. Now let's check the alert. It works, but we can make it more interesting. First, let's reposition the emitter to be under the video. Now I'm going to change the colors of the particles. Let's check it out. I'm going to change the shape from soft circle to, to hard circle. Now let's check it out again. But before we do that, I'm going to click outside the canvas to make this wire and this particle emitter disappear from the view. And I'm going to click test. And there you go. You can add many more things to the action sequence if you want. You can add 2D text, you can add 3D text, you can add 3D objects. You now know basically how to create whatever alert you want. So be creative, play with the software, and remember that Polypop is just a sandbox for your imagination. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.